Okay, perfect. All right. I remember talking to my brother, one of my brothers, and I told him, just feel sad all the time. He said, what do you got to be sad about? If you're successful and, you know, you've got all the comforts, what's wrong with you? You know, but I, I said to him, mate, it's not like that. It's like, I, I've got every, I understand I'm grateful for my life, but it's, it's just, I'm not feeling this. I really didn't know what to do. It, it made me feel very churned up inside. It was very confronting. I didn't want to talk about it, but Paul, my brother, said it might help people if you come out and talk about it. I just thought it was actually good for him to be open about it and say, I've got a problem, because then you understand. Well, you may not know this, but that guy right there, Blue Wiggle Anthony <laughs> Field, has been fighting a few personal demons. Anthony has overcome clinical depression, a life-threatening illness and chronic pain. But I never wanted to be the spokesperson for mental health because it's real personal. I thought I was such a burden on everyone. I got my own dressing room, put in this bar, put music on it, and I would go in there so I wasn't bothering anybody. Uh, so really on the road, I'd be, it made myself even lonelier because I'd just stick to myself. I thought, no one wants to talk to me anyway. When Anthony came out making it publicly known that he um, has these issues with mental health, it gave me a much better understanding of what he'd been going through. Is this every day? Uh, it's every day, and they're, they're, they're thoughts that aren't um, I'm just feeling down. This is thoughts of, uh, you know, I, I want to harm myself. I'm not worthy of living in this world. Okay. Uh, I don't fit anywhere. Uh, you know, nobody likes me. I don't like myself. My dad helped me. He got me to see someone who I've been seeing for 35 years now. Understanding Anthony a lot more, I look back now and I think, my God, without Anto's creative genius and his desire to try things that were a little bit out there, a little bit different. The Wiggles would not have tried many, many things. Well, bagpipes, uh, when I was in the army, uh, I was a rifleman and a piper because we played at all the funerals and ceremonial parades. I got tattoos. <laughs> this one here is the Royal Australian Regiment. I think my tattoos tell the story of me. Like I've, got, I've got a jester on my chest because I do feel like that sometimes. I feel for jesters. I think, what a job. Jesters being paid to be funny <laughs> when you don't feel like it. When I'm on stage, it's my happy place. It's where I want to be, playing music. That's, that's it. <laughs>